So, uh, by cutting of this ribbon, it basically symbolizes that we our heart, wholeheartedly with our stakeholders, we hand over this facility for the utilization uh, and benefit of our people. And they let us, all of us, utilize these facilities to the best of our abilities. By that, let me cut the uncut ribbon. Thank you very much. This facility will most probably also be used um, as a vaccine um, a rollout facility in the very near future as the country roll out the plan. And this is uh, where sister will then initiate them on ARV so they don't need to to go the, the counseling and adherence uh, to medication is done here. We also do um, uh, sexual transmitted infection uh, diagnosis and, and treatment in here. On that note, this is a sustainable program because uh, with the support from GRZ also in terms of human resources, that is what we want the industry to support us in the event when uh, GRZ funding comes to an end. The clinic sees about uh, between 20 and 30 clients per day coming for different uh, services. Per quarter, we can uh, easily um, treat uh, anything between 1,000 1, and 1,500. Like now with the, with the construction, uh, railway construction project, it's uh, actually the volumes are quite high. Yeah. At this time, allow me to call Mr. Shibute, the Project Manager Wellness Services at Valvish Bay Corridor Group, to do the welcoming remarks. Thank you. I welcome you to this um, uh, space. The project um, started in 2007, very, very long time ago. And uh, the idea that we've always had is that for the transport industry, we should actually be more proactive and have more activities rather than just uh, having our trucks on the road and uh, doing all the activities within the transport sector. We realize the importance of the health and wellness of uh, the colleagues who are always on the road, specifically our truck drivers. We realize that their workplace is actually on the road and not in offices with air cons like most of us have. We realize that the challenges that they face while on the road is challenges that most of us will not even imagine. Those challenges were made even worse uh, during the outbreak of COVID-19. And this is actually why we are here, because of the support from GIZ. We are very, very humbled by the support from GIZ because the same clinic that we see here, GIZ was actually the first to support it um, uh, from 2008. This, through this fruitful cooperation, that in 2004, the German corporation added technical assistance for the transport sector specifically in order to assist all relevant Namibian institutions in achieving Namibia's development goals. An important aspect of this development cooperation is the logistics sector, as it, is highly, as it highly contributes to economic growth, social equality, and it creates job opportunities. This is well captured under the fourth and the fifth national development plan. Since 2016, this technical cooperation, which started in 2004, specifically started supporting the Ministry of Works and Transport, the Wolfish Bay Corridor Group, and other sector institutions in the implementation of the master plan for the development of an international logistics hub for the SADC countries in Namibia. This is done through the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, better known as GIZ. Namibia has a clear vision 
to become a leader in the distribution and logistics in the Southern African Development Community, as clearly outlined under the Fourth National Development Plan and the Fifth National Development Plan. Our country has made great strides toward the development of transport infrastructure for the benefit of regional and international trade. This not only benefit the Namibian people, but also our neighboring countries. Not only do we have good transport infrastructure at our disposal, we have a, a port with great potential to stimulate regional economic integration. Namibia has put logistics at the forefront of its economic development as is enshrined in the various national development initiatives as well as the Harambe Prosperity Plan. Improved logistics is not merely about good transportation infrastructure, but it is the integration of systems and excellent customer service. It is one of these components, if one of these components is not functioning well, we shall not have proper functioning logistics and transportation systems in place. Music